It was right there. It was late Monday night, early Tuesday morning, where I sat 13 stories above the field, and there was a euphoric feeling after the Chiefs beat the San Diego Chargers in an overtime win on Monday night football. But I also had the feeling, hey, it is already Tuesday of Dolphin Week. And there was a concern all week long that the Chiefs would struggle this week against a talented but hungry and winless Dolphin team. But I didn't think it'd be 31 to 3 Miami as Kansas City had three flat tires in this game and Miami was able to take advantage and get the victory. Now Kansas City started off great eating up over half the first quarter but they didn't get a seven on the drive. They just get a three and Miami then turned it on after that. This was a game where Miami not only was hungry but they were prepared. In fact they saw some things from a strategic and flanking standpoint where they got mismatches against Kansas City's defense using early on Reggie Bush either against a linebacker or a safety on some long pass plays. Then they got Brandon Marshall involved. Then later they were able to get Charles Clay involved a kid they get in the sixth round out of Tulsa who's kind of a fullback tight end and they got him influencing Kansas City into some scheme type plays and then a throwback touchdown to Anthony Fasano that put them up 14 to 3 and all of a sudden the Chiefs were on their heels. Now Kansas City had a shot. They had a chance to drive late in the second quarter but a sack took them out of uh, field goal position there and then early in the third quarter they started a drive at the Miami 45 but they also took a sack there and then on a field goal attempt it appeared to be maybe a pooch try for a punt the snap instead of going to suck up for a pooch kick goes to uh, Dustin Colquitt and ends up the Chiefs getting nothing out of the drive not even field position no points or anything else and the onslaught was on Kansas City in this game struggle in protecting Matt Castle officially five sacks now Kansas City came into this game top six in the league in fewest sacks they'd only given up 13. The other thing Kansas City had done even though they don't have a high sack total at the bottom of the league they were pressuring quarterbacks into mistakes. The Chiefs had 13 interceptions that was only one behind Buffalo for the league lead in this game they didn't get close to anything because Matt Moore was comfortable all day and give credit to the Miami Dolphins prepared scheming getting some plays and Moore had three touchdown passes which tied a career high for him and then defensively uh, were able to put uh, Matt Castle under dress all day long. The Chiefs had a couple fourth and shorts late deep in Dolphin territory and get nothing out of it. Now Kansas City's four and four at the halfway point of the season. This one's over put some pressure on the second half and some pressure on to win some games against some uh, opponents where the Chiefs will be heavy underdogs against it. But really it starts this week against the Denver Broncos to try to stay in the pennant race uh, with San Diego and Oakland and try to keep them right in within touching distance and then uh, attack the second half of the season. But the short week comes back to bite Kansas City plus a prepared and hungry Miami team. Give Tony Sperano and his staff credit. They did a brilliant job today and they blow out the Chiefs 31 to 3. Special thanks to the folks at Time Warner Cable. I again hosted some folks before the game here, took them immediately to the Hall of Honor. No matter win or lose, you'll always win when you check out the Hall of Honor here, a presentation of Time Warner Cable. I'm Mitch Holtis, voice of the Chiefs for KCChiefs.com.